Hi, this is Steve here from the G Suite Tips team here in the UK, and you can find us online at our website, gsuitetips.com, and you can follow us on social media on Twitter, Google+, and of course, our YouTube channel. So I'm going to show you today about how you can use um, Google Drive to see assigned tasks. And just to remind you, um, we've got a previous tip here. We've called it Summon Your Colleagues with Action Items. And this is about how you can um, assign a task to somebody by using the comments within Google, within Google Docs and, and Sheets and Slides, et cetera. And there is a video uh, you can watch on that one. Um, and so that one's actually called Action Items in Comments. So we're assuming you understand a bit about that. Go back and have a look at that one if you want to. So I'm going to show you here. Um, I'm in a folder in my Drive Tips Demos, and I've got a new folder here called Assigned Task Demo, which I'm going to go into. And when I'm in here, I can see a file in here with a number two next to it. Okay, and that means there are two things of interest to me, and I can click on here. And these are called follow-ups, and I've got an action item and a suggestion. And I can click on either just to open the file. And when I go into it, we'll see that somebody has um, made some changes in my file. This one here is um, assigned to me been assigned to me by another Steve. Um, and this one here, you can see, is a suggested edit. So I'm going to leave both of those in place for the moment. I'm just going to change windows. Here, I've got another window logged in as the other guy, the other Steve. And I'm going to open that file up. So now I'm a collaborator. OK, and I'm going to add some other, show you how to add an action item. So if I click here and create a comment, OK, I'm going to assign it to my user. I've just pasted it in there and say, please recheck or something like that. And if I click assign, that's an assignation there. I've got one. So we had previously one assignment and one um, suggested edit. I've now got a second assignment. And I'm going to just do another one. Let's select that test text there, put the name in again, and just assign it. So we should now have four items, uh, three assignments and one um, suggested edit. So I'm going to swap windows again just to show you what I'm doing. Back to the other guy. Whoops. Walk that back again and make it full screen. Okay. And we can see those changes in there. I'm going to close that down. And when we get back to drive over here, we should now see four things, which we do. So it says three action items and one suggestion. And if I click on either of these, it will open it up and I can get into there. So when I'm visiting a folder, I can see the current status within that folder of how many things I've got to do. If we go back to my drive here, I'll show you another thing you can see from um, searching. If I click on the search tools, um, at the bottom here, there's follow-ups. And I can search for things based upon that. So I can say any, suggestions only, or action items only. So let's say any only originally, and click search. And it's brought me up um, a deck of slides where I've got an action item. And we can see this one has got four, three, and a, and a suggestion. So if I pop into this slide, uh, this this file again here, and let's pretend I've done some work and close this one down, okay? And let's um, accept the changes there, okay? What we should now see, if I rerun this search, in fact, it's already done it while we're watching, but if I say follow-ups, let's just look for um, suggestions. I think I've got none now. I should find nothing. And if I look for action items only, I should see two files. Uh, this one hasn't changed. This one, I just went and closed a couple down, so it's gone from four to two. So I hope that makes sense. Quite an easy thing when you get used to it, and you'll start to notice these jumping out at you a little bit more. And of course, this nice um, search action here allows you to look for, you know, let's say I want to look for all the presentations that have got some kind of, um, any kind of follow-up on them, and it would just bring up my presentations. And likewise for the uh, various other, other types of uh, formats. So that's today's tip. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, reminder again, gsuitetips.com is the website. You can find us on the Twitter and Google Plus and on YouTube. And I hope to see you on the next one.